Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. We've got a Sunday night special. We've got a, few, a bit of mixed information in here. We're doing some work on our Hilux. So we're just going to talk quickly about uh, some uh, brake adjustment and a few little things that you may not know. Starting off with, we have just painted our brake drums because they're all rusty and terrible, whatever. So we got them off, gave them a clean up, quick wire brush clean up, and uh, obviously let them dry. And just some El Cheapo paint is what I've used from Bunnings, fiddly bits I had on the shelf. Because I'm curious to see whether the heat uh, does anything with this paint. Because I'm not too it's just drums, it doesn't matter if it flakes off or something happens, we'll do it again. But this is the uh, matte black. Now to get the drums off, if you're having trouble, because some of you are going to have trouble getting drums um, off because they get stuck. Often we used to, you know, give them a tap with a hammer here. Give them a tap here as well. The studs or this area here can be rusted and stuck. So don't hit your studs here. You know, they come through here. You know, the threads because damage them and that'll hurt you as well. But, you know, you can give them a tap with a hammer around here. You can give them a tap around the sides around here. But what works really well is see if you have a look. See, there's a threaded section in there. There. Look, here's one we prepared earlier. Look, it's got the bolts. So just go to the nut, nuts and bolts, bits and pieces. It's just M8. Pretty standard thread there. And as you do those up, just do it evenly. Look, if you find yourself putting an extreme amount of pressure on these, there could be another reason why they don't come off. What's happening when you're doing them up there, see that little mark there? Right, that is right there. Just trying to get it to focus, there we go. Anyway, right there and there, that's all it should take. Just a little mark like that. And these bolts will just sort of push that drum backwards but I suggest doing the, uh, make sure your brake adjustment's good. Usually on the Hiluxes, it's not the shoes that are caused a lip on the inside of the, the drum here, stopping it from coming off. It's normally the rust. So you should be right doing it this way. Um, and it's, of course, it's good if you give it a bit of a clean up. If you want to put a super light amount, a very thin, thin amount, a very super thin of like bearing grease or whatever on here, because it's often this area here that rusts onto your hub that makes it hard to get off. And you know, you can't really put it anywhere on the inside because it'll end up on your drums, but if you saw the inside of these, you'd want to put it on the inside. But unfortunately, you can't really. Tiny, tiny little bit on the threads or around the studs wouldn't hurt either, but it's not really going to do much. These work really well. Nice and even. Little bit on this one, little bit on this one, little bit on this one, and it'll pull the drum off. So once you've got the drums off, you uh, you flip them up. Yeah, have a look in there. Have a look out. Well, I don't know how much you can see. I think we need to turn a light on. a bit better, doesn't it, right? So, you know, you can see they're all rusty in here. We gave them a clean up. Don't worry about that, that'll just, you could polish that up, but that will just wear off straight away on the first brake application. It's just some very light surface rust on the on the working area here. But see inside here, you can see where it comes through, and that's what's pushing against that axle that will push those off. Now, if for whatever reason you're applying extreme force and it starts bending this area here out, and you can start to see gaps underneath here and it's all kind of like stuck, then you're going to need to do something else. Back with a hammer, tap, tap. You need to work out where it's stuck and a way to free it up. And we've already sort of been through those few different ways we uh, free those up. And that is, as I said, tap on the face here and around the outside and gentle wiggles. You know, get your fingers here, pulling here. And every vehicle is different. So this is generally with, this is a bit of general discussion with brake drums and also it's a bit of specific to the Hiluxes. Yeah, well, before we get into these components, I just want to make a correction. I did a video recently and I said parts day uh, Monday, 7-14-21. Obviously, these are the people in Australia. Um, so I was wrong. It's not 7-14-21 because for, the 14th is a public holiday in Victoria. So, And on public holidays, often we take an extra day or two and that's what we're doing. So as it turns out, it's 7-16-21. So Wednesday the 16th is the day. Same time, first thing in the morning from 9 a.m., um, parts day, so obviously, uh, actually, Sunday special. Tomorrow is, this is fresh, fresh video. So tomorrow, Monday the 7th is your parts day from 8 a.m., text messages only. The phone doesn't ring uh, if you need any of those parts kits or if you want to inquire to book into the Prada Hospital, get the work done. Okay, so up the top here, we've got the master, uh, uh, let me get it right, it's not the master cylinder, but uh, hello, this is the, uh, <laughs> It's the wheel cylinder, right? It is the wheel cylinder. Let's get it all right in a minute. Now these have obviously been replaced at some stage, not by us, but they're almost like new. So just to give people a bit of an idea that the shoe material is probably about two millimeters thick 
and the lining is usually I would estimate about six six millimeters thick right and that's probably they, they look just like brand new ones being put on there if you're wondering why it's so clean is because that's how we roll we clean things now with the Hiluxes particularly if you take it off road if you get a lot of mud dirt and dust now you can see have a look through here see that you can see my finger that's because there's a plug missing right now these never seal up perfectly anyway because look you've got a drum here that's turning so everything can get between there anyway which is why this here doesn't really matter too much but this whole you can take it out and you get in you can adjust from behind see that you get in there you get to this little adjuster here we'll get to that in a minute and you'll find there's another couple there's another plug i think somewhere down the bottom okay anyway it doesn't matter we're not even gonna let me just have a peek around there if i can see it there's i think there's two plugs uh another one down the bottom possibly oh at the side here here it is that's it see and that one's this uh, we'll get there in a minute there it is see that one so you can look in and check your brake shoe without pulling your drums off that's why a lot of people think oh they have to take your wheels off at service or they think that you think that they're taking your wheels off no they're just popping the plug out and checking the linings we make no secret of this um, regularly you should take the whole drum off to check you know so basically what you can do you can have a look you know a lot of people you don't you don't want to remove these when they're dusty and dirty and this is what happens often um, in workshops because they don't clean everything look see but see there's a tiny bit of can you see that drop of fluid down there anyway a little bit is normal okay now if people were going to replace these wheel cylinders every time there was they do sometimes leak a little bit what I prefer the way I check is you give it a good squeeze like that see that because all the fluid if there's any leaking it'll be at the bottom if you give it a good squeeze like that same at each side obviously I can't fully demonstrate I'm trying to hold a camera here but you give them a squeeze if the fluid comes out that means you know they're full or if it's leaking if you've got any leaks anywhere you've got certainly got problems if you push that and it comes out you may have problems you've got to look at it to replace the wheel cylinders is actually not too hard it's actually easier than replacing all these shoes here okay replacing shoes again not too hard when you're experienced at it but you've got your adjuster you've got some retaining springs more springs at the bottom more springs over here so it can get a bit complicated you've got these retaining clips for the shoes at the sides here I'm just while I'm looking I'm trying to notice if there's any marks because I'd love to be able to say actually these are genuine original shoes but I have not seen enough of these or lately to know what's what can anyone put in the comments does that look like the genuine wheel cylinder you know the genuine Hilux wheel cylinder does this look like the genuine shoes just because I don't see a lot of scratch marks in that on here or here so it's making me think it looks fairly original but hang on there we go what's that is that a genuine part number there you go there's even a genuine part number and it says 0618 so we know they have been replaced with what I believe to be genuine shoes right um, it's a 2015 vehicle and it says 18 so that would say to me they've been replaced why did they use genuine probably because they're the best value for money because they last so long that could be the first time they're actually changed you can see this is your uh, handbrake lever here this is where it comes in um, to adjust them obviously they have got an automatic adjuster setup, which works sometimes. Um, probably better on Toyotas than most other cars, but this is your actual adjustment. Couple of clicks either way. I'm not gonna go full detail on um, adjusting brakes, but just giving you a little bit of background information on the components here. So in case you're wondering, so these are the brake shoes. If you've got um, brakes grabbing and stuff like that, that's why they, see this edge got a nice sharp edge on it, like that, right? And this edge they've fold down the leading edge right but you can see that chamfer they put there it's only going to work for the first what one third of where once it gets down to there you could get a situation of brakes grabbing again right so what you might want to do when you do your maintenance you remove the drum like this and this is what i'm saying every now and then and we i personally haven't had the drums off they had them off for roadworthy they bang them on the ground let the dust out whatever and that was that I wanted to get it off, clean it up, have a good inspection, check these, paint the drums, check what the shoes, how much meat's left on there. And uh, yeah, when you do this maintenance, this so what we use, in case you're asking that question, you know the Kenko Heavy Duty Degreaser, mix at the standard rate as per directions on the bottle, in a spray bottle, spray it all around here, let it soak for a minute, then I get the pressure washer at a distance. No need to put pressure, we don't want to force water or moisture or anything in there. So you can just use a hose, you can pour water over it, but I use the pressure washer just because it's, efficient on water i have a drain tray underneath and i'm i'm talking i'm a foot back at least there's no pressure there's nothing going to push in anywhere and then of course we blow it dry and then we let it fully dry before we reassemble although it doesn't matter because i've just demonstrated 
Although there's two missing caps, I wouldn't be too worried about because like I said, it's not a sealed unit anyway. Moist you can get between the drums. <clears throat> so if you're off-roading in your Hilux and you're going through all the bog holes, what happens is all the mud and everything gets in past the drum and it gets in to hear all the workings. So it helps everything go rusty, all your springs, all your cable, <coughs> excuse me, all your moving parts, your cable down here, it gets between your shoes and your drum like sandpaper and it can really wear the shoes down which is why if you've been in bog holes on really dirty trips, you should probably come home, put a jack under the diff in the middle, jack it up, take the rear wheels off, slip the drums off, and even if you just use your hose and some water, rinse this out and let it dry. Even if you don't let it dry, clean and wet will dry sooner than all the muddy, wet stuff because the wet stuff's going to stay wet because there's grit, there's mud there, it stays wet longer. Do you know what I mean? So obviously it's better if you can uh, clean it all out properly. How much better does that look, hey? Bloody beautiful compared to that rust bucket we had before. Because now we've got this awesome Dobinson suspension in here. And of course the shockers and someone might mention they're upside down. They're not upside down, they can go either way. We're ch we've chosen to run them that way at the moment. We may change them. Um, obviously it all depends on the circumstances. Um, uh, you know, pros and cons of either way. They can work both ways. So they're not really upside down. You've just got to decide whether you want rocks to hit the uh, shock absorber, the body of it, or the rubber boot at the top here. All right, so as you can imagine, if you've got bolts, um, you know, trying to pull your uh, press against your, uh, you know, in there and it's not coming it's off. a bit distracted, so I stopped and pushed it on a bit further because you can see a slight gap in there still. But because there's like a lip on the edge here so that they all fit really hub centric get it you know nice and tight on the hub anyway if you're putting your threaded bolt in there it's pushing against there and there's a heap of pressure and you're going to wreck the thread or bust the drum and i've seen them where drum they've cracked and everything's stuck you need to just stop it and go in from behind and back off that adjuster maybe one thing that's happening or you need to find out what's stuck why it's stuck okay so if you don't know about brakes then don't do it don't touch it yourself I'm just trying to give you some information to help you understand the systems here. But doesn't that look so much better? And it's going to be even better and not just look better with these babies on. The genuine black painted Prado wheels with a brand new KO2s ready for action on the Hilux. So to recap, if you want to book into the Prado Hospital or Parts Day, 7 16 21, then we're on uh, annual leave for quite a long break, making up for the last few years from uh, the 20, I think it's the 20, uh, whatever anyway. So 7, 16, 21, sometime after that, we're on a break and we'll be back after Easter, I think on Tuesday, the 26th of April, something along those lines. Um, just because we're taking a break doesn't mean that we're not at the Prada Hospital. We've got, we're either here or got people here who can supply parts and stuff in emergencies, but we'd rather not because obviously it's a one man band. It goes through me. And if I'm on holidays, I don't really want to be receiving any calls or texts. So thanks for watching the video, but please uh, be considerate of that information. Um, if you're a client, VIP group, that's what it's for. There's heaps of people there that have done all this sort of work. They've got all the answers. They're trained professionals by my VIP information. They are actually, it might sound funny, but that's what they are. Yeah, better than some of the people that, you know, work on vehicles that... Uh, supposedly trained professionals but they can't do things right so yes they are trained professionals and you can become one of those as well and look you know you might want to just get in there before then and it's up to you so Monday the 7th from 8 a.m. that's tomorrow morning this is a Sunday special bada bing bada boom um, if you're outside Australia I'm sorry I can't help you with parts but where possible uh, we'll provide the information we can and you need to ask those questions in our Facebook groups uh, we've got a number of those and we show listed in other videos. If you haven't seen it yet, please keep watching videos. All the information will pop up as required. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a great weekend and uh, have a great week. Thanks for watching. See ya. Oh, lastly, I just want to apologize to the people that now I've created work for. They've got Hilux and they've gone, oh. now they just want to go out and jack up the rear diff and take the wheels off and get the drum off and have a look what's in there. Because I can tell you now, those bog holes, they just fill it up with mud, they wear it down. Uh, when last time, look, I'm gonna I, I avoid bog holes for many reasons, um, and a lot of the information from this getting drums off is very similar on the rear of the Prado. I've got a handbrake shoe set up in there. Um, you may need to back off the adjustment on those. It's done through the holes at the front and the bottom, different to this, but very similar information. 
which is why it pays to just watch all the videos to the end and take it all in and try and understand all the systems so that you can work it out yourself and then overcome the problems when you're working on the vehicle yourself. And did I mention how good do those drums look now? Bloody beautiful. Thanks for watching guys. You know, subscribe, turn the bell on, smash the like button if you liked it. Bada bing. See ya.